waiting for the promised child, Isaac. And the promised child has not come. And somebody is coming to me, pray for me. Abraham could have said, ah, you think you have a problem? I have my own problem too. I've been waiting for 24 years. And the problem has not been solved. And you want me to pray for you? Some people say, how can I go out and witness and testify and talk to people and encourage them and say, come to the Lord? They will say, uh-huh, but we know you in this community. We know your problem. And because of that, they will not. But Abraham prayed. And when Abraham prayed, in the next chapter, chapter 21, the long-standing problem in the family of Abraham was totally removed. Abimelech was healed in chapter 20, and the miracle child came in chapter 21. If you're a leader, if you're a pastor, if you're an elder, and you say, I have my own problem, how can I pray for the people? Go ahead and pray for them. In the next chapter, in the next chapter your solution has also come. Let me just remind you of Job. You read it when you get back home. God told the friends, I'm against you. My wrath is against you. Therefore, go to Job, my servant. He will pray for you. And Job had not been healed. Job still had his own problem. And they now came to him and they said, The Lord said, You should pray for us. But you know my problem. Are you mocking me? But you know my challenge. How can I pray for you? And I've just been telling you, I went forward. I couldn't find him. I went back. I couldn't find I went everywhere I used to see him. I couldn't find him. And I'm the one to pray for you. Yes, God has appointed you. He prayed for them in verse 9. In verse 10, God reversed his captivity. Go ahead and pray for them. In the next verse, God is going to reverse your situation. <laughs> Number one, personal prayer. Number two, pastoral prayer. Come back to James chapter 5. And I'm reading from verse, I'm reading from verse 15. In verse 15, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick. And the Lord shall raise him up. And if he has committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Number three, that's powerful prayer. Powerful prayer. It's a powerful prayer that has two edges, the two edges of the sword. Sickness healed and sins forgiven. And the prayer we pray today will be a powerful prayer. Every sin you confess to the Lord and you repent of, it will forgive you in Jesus' name. And then, any sickness in your body, it will heal you in Jesus' name. I am healed. Who is that? I said, who is getting healed there? You are the one, Mark, chapter 16. I'm reading from verse 17. And this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name, they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take off serpents. If they drink any deadly sin, it shall not hurt them. Nobody will have power to kill you. They will not terminate your life. They will not terminate your progress. You will not die in anybody's hand. And they shall lay down. Jesus' name. Come back. James chapter 5. There's personal prayer. James chapter 5. There's pastoral prayer. James chapter 5. There's powerful prayer. James chapter 5, verse 16. Confess your faults one to another. And pray one for another that ye may be healed. Pitiful prayer. Pitiful prayer. When you see people, what they're going through, and then they confess, they said, I want to tell you something. This is my fault. I was warned. 
the word of God came to me. I shouldn't have gone that direction. I shouldn't have done that thing. I shouldn't have joined that company. I shouldn't have gotten myself involved. But you know, I did in disobedience, and now this has come upon me. And so hear their story, and they confess their fault, and how their hand was in this, and they got involved. You're pitiful as a child of God. You have the nature of God. Look at verse 11. Verse 11, behold, we count them happy, which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job, and ye have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very, give me the word there, pitiful and of tender mercies. And you have the nature of God. And after they confess their sins, you say, don't worry about that, you know. Even myself in the past, I got into a similar problem. And the Lord was merciful. And I can understand what you are talking. I can identify with you in the problem you're relating, narrating. And when you have that pitiful prayer, the Lord will answer. Somebody said a good amen. First Peter chapter 3. I'm reading from verse 8. First Peter chapter 3, verse 8. Finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion one of another. Love as brethren, be pitiful, be courteous. Be pitiful. That's what God will do. He pities the sinner. He pities the one suffering because of his faults. And so you'll not condemn them. You'll not say so. You did that. You went that far. You put your hand in something like that. Be pitiful and pray for them. Psalm 103. Psalm 103. I'm reading from verse 12. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our transgressions from us, like a father pitieth his children. That's how to pity. Those brethren who come to you, or you go to them, and you hear their problem, pity them, like God will pity them. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pities them that fear them. Come back to James chapter 5. And we're reading here now from the second part of verse 16. James chapter 5, second part of verse 16. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man, tell me, availeth much. Prevailing prayer. Prevailing prayer. You take that problem to the Lord. You take that challenge and that mountain to the Lord. And you say, by the grace of God, the blood of Jesus has washed me, cleansed me, made me pure, made me righteous. And because of that, I put on the righteousness of Christ. And it says, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Your prayer will avail. Your prayer will prevail. Look at First John chapter 3, verse 22. First John chapter 3, verse 22. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him, because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing is in his sight. Whatsoever we ask, we receive of him. Anybody going to receive there today? 
of course you are going to receive number one personal prayer number two pastoral prayer go ahead tell me number three powerful prayer number four pitiful prayer number five prevailing prayer number six look at james chapter five and i'm reading from verse 17 elias was a man subject to like passions as we are and he prayed earnestly 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 that it might not rain and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months passionate prayer passionate prayer he wasn't praying and dozing praying and sleeping praying and yawning praying and tired and praying, praying and, and wanting, wanting to go to, to go sleep, to sleep. He said, this one concerns the nation. And this is a great problem. And this must be something you know, that I... he came and Elijah the Tishbite who was of the inhabitants of Gilead said unto Ahab as the Lord God of Israel liveth before whom I stand he have been standing before him praying passionately earnestly before my stand there shall not be dew nor rain this years but according to my word he had the key what he lodged on earth was locked in heaven. What he opened on earth was opened in heaven. This morning, you have the key. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth today will be loosed in heaven in Jesus' name. Passionate prayer. Come to verse 18 of James chapter 5. James chapter 5 verse 18 and he prayed again and he prayed again and he prayed again and the heaven gave rain and the earth brought forth her fruit your business will bring forth your family will bring forth your spiritual life will bring forth. He prayed again. You will pray. This one is persevering prayer. Persevering prayer. Look at it. First Kings chapter 18. First Kings chapter 18. I'm reading from verse 41. And Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up, eat, and drink. For there is a sound of abundance of rain in your family abundance in your life abundance so he have went up to eat and to drink and elijah went up to the top of camel and he cast himself down upon the earth and he put his face between his knees and said to his servant, Go up now and look toward the sea. And he went up and he looked and said, There is nothing. And so Elijah did not say, Okay, God changed his mind. God never changes his mind. I said, God never changes his mind. He said, There's going to be abundance of rain, it's going to come. And he said, Go again. He went the second time. There's nothing. Persevering. Go again the third time. He went. There's nothing. Persevering prayer. Go and see that again. He went the first time. He came back. 
there is nothing you know elijah is not the man to give up and you are not the brother to give up you are not the sister to give up go again the first time he came back there is nothing you must go back again go back again the sixth time he said there is nothing and now he said go again the seventh time persevering prayer you will not give up i said you will not give up and it came to pass at the seventh time that he said behold there ariseth a little cloud out of the sea like a man's sand and he said go up and say to ahab prepare thy chariots and get thee down that the rain stop thee not and it came to pass in the meanwhile and it comes to pass in the meanwhile while the message was going on the heaven was black with clouds and winds and there was a great rain and Ahab rode and went to Jezreel. As you're riding back in your bus, in your car, in the taxi, or whatever, on your motorcycle, whatever. As you're riding back today, great abundance is following you. And the great ministration is being fulfilled in your life in Jesus' name. Personal prayer is going to be answered today. Pastoral prayer is going to be answered today. Powerful prayer is going to be answered today. Pitiful prayer is answered today. Prevailing prayer answered today. Passionate prayer answered today. Persevering prayer answered today. I rejoice with you today. It's the day of your breakthrough. It's the day of the moving of your mountain. And it's the day of the blessing of the Lord upon your life. Before you stand up to pray, Ezekiel chapter 34, I'm reading from verse 26. Ezekiel chapter 34, Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 26. And I will make them and the places round about my heel a blessing. And I will cause the shower to come down in a season this season and there shall be showers of blessing and there shall be showers of blessing where i said where in your life when now at this very time showers of blessing there showers of blessing there i said showers of blessing there over there i said showers of blessing there open your mouth open your mouth and talk to the lord it's a new day it's a day of blessing it's a day of deliverance and it's a day of miracle it's a day of power manifestation it's a day of all your sorrow all your sin all your sin and all your suffering being taken away it's your day it's your day you have persevered as an afflicted saint tell the lord no more complaint no more complaint no more complaint no more morning call upon the name of the lord the lord is going to answer your prayer today the lord is going to answer never give up never give up never give up to your sorrows jesus will be them depart trust in the lord trust in the lord sing when your trials are greatest trust in the lord and take heart talk to the lord right now pray unto the lord right now personal prayer personal prayer is anyone afflicted let him pray personal 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 table it before the lord expose it before the lord express it before the lord show the lord where you suffer Whatever it is, the affliction, personal prayer, powerful prayer, powerful prayer, powerful prayer, powerful prayer, not an indolent prayer, not a powerless prayer.
not a prayer that makes you doze, that makes you sleep, powerful, pitiful. If it is your condition, if there's sin, confess that to the Lord. Any fault, confess that to the Lord. Any blame, don't shift blame. Don't accuse other people. Don't criticize other people. Don't murmur against other people. When you confess your faults to the Lord, He'll pity you and forgive you. As far as the east is from the west, you'll remove your transgression, your sin, your fault. Prevailing prayer. Prevailing prayer. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. I'm not going to wait till another time. This is the time. Showers of blessing. Showers of blessing. Showers of blessing. Mercy drops around us are falling. But for the showers we plead. Let me go for the daybreakers. I will not let you go. I will not let you go. Except to bless me. Prevailing prayer. Passionate prayer. Jabez prayed. The evil was there. Jabez prayed. That it may not hurt him, Jabez prayed. That evil may not come upon me, Jabez prayed. And the Lord heard him. And the Lord enlarged his coast. Jabez prayed. Passionate prayer. Elias was a man of like passions as we are. Like passions as we are, of like passions as we are. And he prayed, he prayed earnestly, prayed earnestly. Be earnest, be earnest, be passionate, be serious, be determined. Be diligent about this. Passionate prayer. Persevering prayer. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Men always ought to pray and not to faint. Avenge me of my adversaries. And the church will not answer for a time. But she kept on going, she kept on going, she kept on going. And they just said, do I fear not man, fear not God, or regard man? Yet this woman, by her persistent coming, importunity, perseverance in prayer, lest she weary me, I will answer her. And Jesus said, see what the unjust judge said. And shall not 
God avenge his own elect that cry unto him day and night surely verily he will avenge them nevertheless when the son of man comes shall he find faith in the earth have faith in God have faith in God have faith in God whosoever shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass he shall have he shall have, he shall have whatsoever he says. If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believes. Persevere in prayer. There is pastoral prayer. The prayer of faith shall save the sick. Heal the sick. Will break the yoke. Will destroy the evil thing. God answers prayer. God answers prayer. Answers prayer, personal prayer. He answers prayer, powerful prayer. He answers prayer, beautiful prayer. He answers prayer, prevailing prayer. He answers prayer, passionate prayer. He answers prayer, persevering prayer. He answers prayer, pastoral prayer. Believe the Lord, begin to thank Him. Be not weak in faith. He considered not his own body now dead. Another year, the deadness of Sarah's womb. He was fully persuaded that what God has promised is able to perform. And therefore, he gave, he was giving glory to God, calling those things which be not as though they were giving glory to God sing when your trials are greatest trust in the Lord and take heart in Jesus name we pray God has answered your prayer no more crying, no more complaining, no more criticizing, no more murmuring, no more going from valley to mountain. God has answered my prayer. Where are you? Where am I? God has answered my prayer. God has answered your prayer. Keep up those and Father, in Jesus' name. You are a God that will not fail. You are a faithful God. You have promised your children. And you have told us how to pray. And we have prayed in that way. And I'm asking, Lord, let there be a performance, a fulfillment in every life today, in Jesus' name. 
wipe all their tears away take all the affliction away heal all the sicknesses in their body and break every yoke in their lives and set them completely free from every walk of the devil in jesus name i pray lord where there's been mountains remove that mountain now where there's been oppression remove that oppression now where there's been curable disease remove that disease now and where the paths of darkness have been walking lord i pray you rebuke the enemy on their behalf in jesus name the arrows of the enemy will not take effect in the lives of our children the enemy will have their arrows for themselves but your people are free from today in jesus name i pray lord you do something definite in every life something new in every life something spectacular in every life something unbelievable in every life and lord i pray they will see the miracle as a servant went and came back saw nothing and elijah said no you must see lord i pray the people of god everyone without exception you must see your miracle today and every hindrance is cleared out of the way I pray that the fire of the Lord will burn every chaff and every yoke and every oppression and every evil thing from the lives of your people in Jesus' name. Lord, I'm assuring your people according to your word, you have answered their prayer. Joy instead of sorrow. Singing instead of crying rejoicing instead of sadness i pray lord as a confirmation in every life i know it is done i know it is done as they go riding back home they ride on the wings of the wind they ride above their problems and lord let the sunshine come in the past of everyone who has been going through darkness you're saved you're healed you're delivered you're set free your mountain is gone the darkness is blotted out continue now in a new life in the sunshine of answered prayer Thank you, Lord, for the confirmation. In Jesus' name I pray.